Just uh, talk into your mic. I'm talking into the mic. Check the levels. Excellent. Are we up? We are live. We're live, yeah. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to the Shift Talking Podcast, episode 11. Episode 11. I am Wasim, and this is my co-host. Uh, Doug, A.K. Dougie Chef, on Instagram. D-U-G-G-Y-C-H-E-F. Don't forget it. I'm excited about the episode because it's very prevalent uh, this past week. What are we talking about today? Prioritizing your health. Prioritizing your health. Why is that important, Doug? Sounds so robotic. (laughs) Why? Ask me again. Ask me again. Why should we prioritize our health, Doug Caffron? Because if you don't have your health, you can't work or make money or take care of your kids or your family. So health comes first. Otherwise, nothing else falls into place. Do you believe people in society prioritize their health? Well, obviously not. Just from what I just from what I see. And what do you see? I see a lot of believers in the vegan diet when their body types are not ideal. Am I saying that? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Majority of the population is out of shape. Uh, you have a rise in diabetes, obesity, cancer, illnesses. You just see all around us that people are not healthy whatsoever. And I think people prioritize on other things in life as opposed to their own health. Like what? Besides their jobs. Their jobs work their jobs you know i'm saying it over and over again because people prioritize work over life that's so true and people get so caught up in it that they don't even take time to relax that was me for the longest time feeling then, guilty to relax and then even the people that chill too much right that I mean, you see, like, let's say somebody who smokes a lot of cannabis, like too much to the point Mm -hmm. where they're on the couch eating Doritos all the time. That's not someone who prioritizes their health either. That's not someone who is so focused on work. It's actually someone who's focused on just doing nothing. Unless you're meditating, I guess. But but yeah, if you're eating chips on the couch, that's not, that's not good. It's also a bad look for stoners. It's also like prioritizing health how many people actually go to the gym it's not a big population like the majority of the population do not go to a gym and a lot of people belong to gyms that just don't go planet fitness same with crunch same with most of these gyms most people pay for a monthly membership and they barely go that's how the gyms stay open on their donations yeah indeed but you know let's uh so diabetes that's uh Oh, so your cousin's a doctor, and we asked him what are the two biggest uh, illnesses he sees when people come in. He said it was heart disease and diabetes. Yeah. Crazy. And, and that's in London, too. That's so in London, London, not even in, the, in America. In America, the health is way worse. Yeah, I believe that. Because the food is more processed. Things are crazier here. And most of the food around us is really unhealthy. You think there's more diabetics in the U.S. or the U.K.? I would say U.S. The United States, and the answer is because there are ingredients we have in America that are banned in England. Like what? Like Red 40, Yellow Number 5, the food colorings, high fructose corn syrup. They don't use that. Theirs is just sugar. Mm -hmm. So our diet is way worse. The foods, commercialized food in America is really bad. We're just... Poisonous, toxic chemicals. Mm-hmm. So. so prioritizing your... So the first step to health is food. We harp on that every episode, but we genuinely believe it. That's why we keep saying it. Like, fix your food, then everything else kind of falls into place. I personally believe if you... It's like a repeating 
what is that called when you repeat yourself over and over? Like re- uh, a broken record? A broken record. But if you really think about mm-hmm. it, you would want to eat the foods that contain the most nutrients. Mm-hmm. That's the easiest way to look at diet. L- research foods and find the ones that have the most n- amount of vitamins, minerals, uh, protein, essential amino acids. And from that list, start learning how to create foods or start consuming higher quality foods. True. You see a big change. True. And especially in America, I think the most uh, important part is like what foods to avoid more than what to eat. Equally as important, but in America, there's just so much trash. That's why there's a topic on what foods to avoid because that list is very high. Mm Mm-hmm. When you go to a grocery store, about ninety percent to ninety to ninety five percent of the food you you really got to think twice before you buy it. That's true. I did. I went to Acme for the first time the other day and walked through the cereal aisle. First time I've seen it in like a long time. It hasn't changed. Cereal aisle aisles, all the funky colors you see on the Kellogg's. What is it? Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Cocoa Krispies, Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, that's banned. Overseas, there you go. What is the red forty and all that that's found in the cereals? Yeah, so they actually use like in, in I think in the UK it's like vegetable coloring. Mm-hmm. So it was actually from I I have no idea, but that's really crazy. True. Oh, also another way I uh, prioritize my health. I uh, got rid of all my Jordans, my sneakers. I want to try barefoot shoes. Well, I'm only just get a, rid of all that's that. That's a. That's another. It's a good example because if you look at, if you want to go there, if you look at our feet, the shoes that we wear, a lot of them are very narrow and at the top where the toes are, they're very crunched in. Look at Nike shoes, look at <clears throat> Adidas, Reebok. There's usually at the, t- at the front, it's very pointed in mm-hmm. and that crunches your toes and it messes up your toes and it can mess up your feet. Mess up my knees. Messes up your knees. You also have that um, arch in your heel. Every every shoe practically has it. So you're not even walking flat on a surface. So when you're not doing that, it's affecting your lower back and it's affecting your knees because your posture is off. True. So, yeah, that's the whole thing about... Sh- that's another thing about prioritizing your health. You start to look at the way you're used to do things and you find the healthier alternative to it. For example, toothpaste. Mm-hmm. What do majority of people use for toothpaste? Fluoride. Recommended by dentist. Colgate, Crest, Aquafresh. Aqua, I used to use Aquafresh. Aquafresh yeah. has that blue and red on it. That's mm-hmm. from food coloring. It's crazy. Yeah. It's it crazy. Is. And what's the alternative to that? Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. And... Uh, yeah, Dr. Brown's toothpaste is good, but always look for ones where you read the ingredients on the back and it should say fluoride free. Yeah, Dr. Bronner's spearmint's pretty good, in yeah, my opinion. Very, very good. But even still, um, what else is something that prior that people do with prioritizing? Oh, the shampoos and soaps. Mm-hmm. All the parabens, all the the crazy scrubbers that are inside, the shampoos, the soaps that people use. What about the cookware people use? Oh, the cookware where people are cooking on aluminum or they're cooking on, what's it called? Uh, tin foil. Tin foil and Teflon. Oh, Teflon. Yeah. Teflon's yeah, yeah. the one that's called. That has like forever chemicals on it where it can really mess you up. So when you really have to prioritize your health, you really got to take whatever you're doing, analyze it and see if it's actually healthy or not. Tap water. If you're drinking tap water. Oh, water. Yeah. Water is a very important one. You want to do research, go on ewg.org and ewg.org environmental working group. You can put in your zip code and it'll show you the water that you're using and it can, it'll tell you all the contaminants that they found in the water. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's usually a crazy amount of carcinogens and chemicals, pollutants. It's crazy what's in the water. It was really interesting. We type in your zip code, it shows you all the contaminants. 
We'll put the link on you the, do the uh, You do the research up. You just do the research and you'll see. It's really good to become aware of what's so toxic. True. What's another big change you made recently? The water. Oh, shower filter. We have a filter on our shower because the tap water is crazy. You're getting, getting this is the water that has what they have. They put antibiotics in the water. You know that? No. Fucking. Wait, nuts. how do they do that? I don't know, but they there's fluoride in the water. There's, um, there's so many things. Oh, because I mean, they the people like dump toxic waste into water. Yeah. Oh, duh. And if you mess with everyone's drinking water, you mess with their minds. Minds aren't working. There's a movie on that, The Crazies. They uh, contaminate the water. Everyone becomes a zombie. Kind of reflects on reality. For sure. Which there, there are some zombies walking around. I mean, and, you tell me. And what prioritize? Uh, what else do you prior- prioritize health with? Like, <clears throat> also, what is it? Food, water, um, living, maybe, living, maybe living like a more minimalistic lifestyle, so there's less like clutter in your head, which is health in itself, I think. How so? The less you have, the more room you allow for stuff to come into your life. I do agree with you on that. So just be cluttering your house, your closet, your living room, and like you know, see what happens. You're basically making better decisions. True, and I and just give give it away too. Someone said they've been spraying chemtrails. It's actually really true. Yeah, chemtrails are another <clears> one. <throat> Things that they spray in the sky. Yeah, what is that? God only knows what it is. I, I'm not gonna <clears throat> come here and be like, I know exactly what it is. I don't. I don't know what it is either. But it's crazy that they're spraying some stuff. I used to think it was just steam coming out of the jets. Like as a kid, I used to think that too, but. It's it's really crazy. And uh, also what? Uh, prioritizing your health. Like alcohol. Oh, yeah. Cut that <clears throat> out years ago. Terrible. Alcohol just, just... It really, like, diminishes you. It destroys <laughs> your cells. Not good for your body in any way whatsoever. Goes to the liver. They have poison. It beats up the, the liver. Yeah, it's terrible. You, you do not want to do that. But overall... If you really, really prior, if prioritize your health, your life will get better. Because once your health is on check, you're, so once you're healthy, you'll be able to f- figure out everything around you because you're healthy. Very true. Input, output. Input, output. Output. That's nice. I would like to know Kick Dreaming's take on chemtrails. I would like to know everyone's opinion on chemtrails or anyone. I mean, they all think it's they think it's real. I mean, I don't know. The meat quality has gone down these days, oh for sure. Oh yeah, that's very true. That's uh that's something we should talk about. The meat. Oh, the the ones that people are getting at restaurants or the ones they're getting they're making at fast food chains. Let's do rest that. restaurants are crazy. <clears throat> you're getting if you're getting conventional meat, you are getting it from a factory farm where they treat the animals so poorly. So it's a bad energy to begin with. And once you consume that, that's a, that dies in a horrible state, of course you're getting the bad energy as well. Very true. That's the same with chicken, beef, uh, lamb, any, any meat. You have to really know. You have to really read the label. Mm-hmm. And the meat, what, what's, what's some high quality meat that people can get? What, what, what do you, you go recommend? to butcherbox.com? If, I feel like I'm plugging products, but butcherbox.com. That's the highest quality meat you can get shipped to your door. Yes. Uh, well, what we were basically saying is it's very important to, like for chicken, it's got to be organic, pasture raised chicken. Yeah, very true. Uh, and beef? Grass-fed beef. What does that mean? The cow has been fed grass, mm-hmm. and it's got to say 100% grass-fed because that means it ate the food it's supposed to eat. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> grass-fed organic beef. Grass-fed, grass-finished. And ButcherBox is really good because it's an online delivery service, and they give you the very, very high-quality meat, and it's very delicious. You have so many options, and you just go through a list. You create a box, and they ship it to you. 
Yeah, right to your door. And you just put it in your freezer, and you then you put it in your fridge whenever you choose to eat it. Let it thaw out. Cook it. It is really delicious. It is the tastiest meat I've ever had. Yeah, for real. So it's butcherbox.com. And I, we actually have a link, so I will leave the link in the description for everyone. Excellent. And what happens is if you use that link, you'll get $30 off on your purchase, and we also get $30 off. So it's a win-win for both of us. So, yeah. But that's if you want to get really high-quality meat, which I personally believe is extremely important because meat, if you do the research on meat itself, you will see that it contains so many bioavailable nutrients, high-quality high protein. If you don't believe me, look at farmers. They're huge. They're usually in shape, strong, mm-hmm. big farmers, you know? Family-oriented. Of course. But at the same time, like, look at their, we're talking about the food. They're eating from the farm. They're drinking raw milk, which I believe is very, very good for you. It's a personal opinion. Mm-hmm. But if you think about it, right, you're getting it from a high-quality cow. That's another thing, dude, milk. Like, people think milk is so unhealthy. Commercialized milk is unhealthy for sure because you're getting at A1 low quality milk well people know that milk is healthy like they got milk but they just eat the wrong quality then like oh i'm lactose intolerant it's like no change your milk well think about it right if you're drinking the milk from a commercial milk from a cow that's been fed treated so poorly they feed the cows with antibiotics because they get so sick and obviously that goes into the milk and you're drinking that milk that's got antibiotics and all this crazy stuff in it no wonder you created it you're allergic to multiple things now because you you drank something that came from it, it came from antibiotics. Yeah, just avoid just avoid restaurants till further notice. And and another thing about the milk, got to bring this up. If you're gonna drink milk. It's not just organic. You want to drink. You have to read it really well because you want to go for grass fed milk. But you even have to read deeper than that because when you find that, it'll look, say underneath it, it'll say ultra pasteurized. What does that mean? It's been heated up so much to the point where it's become shelf stable because raw milk doesn't last very long. So they take that milk and they heat it up through an ultra pasteurization. What you're consuming is just dead, dead nutrients. You don't want to do that. You want to get raw milk. Yeah, negative. Someone, I gotta, I gotta address this comment. Someone said the now white sun changes the way things grow yellow light was warm white light is hotter and it hurts oh that makes sense because the sun is way stronger now it feels different is it whiter i noticed the moon out longer i'll, I'll tell you that yeah, the moon's out and then the crazy energies these past like two days especially emotionally i've been like all over the place i don't know if you have but i have i i have i actually went to a float tank for the fir- prioritizing your health i went to a float tank on my birthday flotation device yeah right? Well, the float tank. <clears throat> oh, the float tank. Where like sensory deprivation. And it helped. Yeah. It helped a lot. But hey, and we, we just want to say we appreciate all of you that view it and we appreciate all the comments. Thank you so much for actually writing and thank you for tuning in. We all appreciate you. Yeah. And the more you share the show, the more people we could have in the chat and, and honestly, answer your questions. We believe we've been eating very healthy, even to the point where if we're going to go to a restaurant, we'll call the restaurant and find out what kind of oil they use to cook the food. Because if you call your favorite restaurant, you're going to find out that they're using really low quality oils. And that's another thing to prioritize your health. Personally, in my opinion, the number one reason why we got the diabetes problem, we got the obesity problem, we got all these problems is because of the seed oils, these rancid, toxic omega-6 oils that people use to cook their food in. We're talking about the canola oil. We're talking about <clears throat> soybean. Soybean oil, which is disguised as vegetable oil. You'll hear about vegetable oil and they have it at the stores and everything, but then when you really look at it, turn turn go to the vegetable oil, grab it and turn it around and read the ingredients. It's going to say soybean oil, most likely, or corn oil, and the corn is GMO, genetically modified. So, you're taking that or they'll have soy oil in it. And soy is extremely estrogenic, especially because it's genetically modified. It's GMO soy because it's not organic, of course. And you're just consuming something that's just so toxic in the body. Your body doesn't even recognize it. And it can take a, multiple months to get that out of your system. Yeah, I feel like my gut's still healing <clears throat> from 28 years of abuse. And it's crazy. And then uh, uh, what do they do? Well, at these, these places where they use, this, they use the same oil and they fry f- 
food in oh, that oil. Oh, the, the uh, Chinese Chinese restaurants do that. Worst thing you can do, like yo, you, you you if you get anything fried, like French fries, those are the worst to put in your body because you're frying it in a really really toxic oil that they don't change often. <clears throat> so it's reheating, reheating, like that's terrible for yeah. you. Chicken nuggets too. Anything that's fried. Anything fried. And you can fry your own food. If you get organic, high-quality wings and you use a, a oil that can handle it, like av- avocado oil is very good for frying. People even fry in fat, like animal fat. Mm. It's really, really good, and it tastes good, and the food comes out delicious. Like that, you can actually fry in. Yeah, wings taste good when they're fried in avocado oil. Because they taste exactly the same as other fried foods. It's just the quality of the oil that you use. You have, and if people are wondering, what should I, what can I use? What, what, what are good options for cooking oils? I mean, first off, you could use like... Let's go to the vegetarian ones first. So like avocado oil. Avocado oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive organic. oil. Virgin coconut oil. Oh, yeah, true. <clears throat> That's very good as well. You can say ghee. Okay, now if you, if you consume... Dairy, which I really recommend if it's raw dairy. That's my personal opinion. But butter, high-quality grass-fed butter or raw butter, which is even better. Mm-hmm. Or ghee, grass-fed, high-quality organic ghee, which is clarified butter. Yeah, ghee is the best. Ghee will make your skin glow. Yeah. That's what it does. It's delicious. Ghee, it's so good. Ghee is the best thing, in my personal opinion, to use to cook with. And you can even buy animal fat so you can use chicken fat beef fat duck fat from a company called epic epic makes really high quality uh animal fat and you can use that for cooking and it is delicious those are some of the two best investments we made in ourselves buying you know pork fat and uh, ghee well i use more of the ghee and that's my personal favorite one but it's amazing because then you can use this and it really tastes the f- taste of the food is so delicious. So good. <clears throat> and these are nutrient-rich foods, by the way. So. Yeah. We get our ghee from Thrive Market. Check it out. Actually, if you want a promo code to Thrive, I could send it to you. Yeah. So we'll leave that link as well. You get a uh, 40% off your first order and free shipping. It's an online grocery store with the highest quality foods, like organic. Uh, if you're on keto, if you're paleo, they have... So many amazing options, like even like organic sweet potato uh, chips. Yeah. They have like grass-fed meat chomps you can eat. They're delicious. I recommend that mostly to people who don't have a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods in their area. Yeah. That's a really good service to have. And yeah, prioritizing your health is just extremely important. And it really works out. It's the only thing. I realize that it's the only thing. And you're talking about water. You can get... Crystal Quest, which is a really high quality water filter. Mm -hmm. And it'll, yeah, it'll basically filter out tap water and it's got carbon in it, specific carbon, which absorbs all the metals and toxic, Mm -hmm. moves fluoride as well, which is great. Also, drink drink spring water from a glass. Yeah, if you're going to buy water, preferably buy it either boxed water or uh, glass water, water that comes in a glass. You want to show your yeah, water show you. one more time? Because I was, like I said, I drank a Dasani uh, last week in a plastic bottle. It made me more thirsty. Yeah. It was bizarre. That water bottle you saw, you can get at Whole Foods called Mount, Mountain Play, Spring. Spring Valley. Spring Valley. Really good water. The Mountain Valley Spring Water. Valley Spring Look Water. Look for the green bottle. Absolutely. Okay, anything else on prioritizing your health? Yeah, does anybody have any questions? Because. Let's see, uh, let's answer some of their. Ask the internet what color the sun is on Earth. It's always been white? Oh, they think it, they say it's always been white. Oh, yeah, make sure ingredients don't say made from bioengineered ingredients. Yeah, so if you look at a lot of cereals, Pop Tarts, these crazy processed foods, it'll usually tell you on the side or on the back, <clears throat> made with bioengineered ingredients. It'll tell you. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So if anybody wants to sue because they see like, oh, they put this in the food, you can't because it's on the label. They've told you. 
it's your personal choice if you eat it. Karmic law. Yeah, and it's this is not prioritizing your health if you're doing that. If you're just ignoring the ingredients and you're just picking crazy. Mm-hmm. You have no idea what you're putting in your body. Uh, Norma says, I love what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you. all of you. Best French fries fried in the fat. Unbelievably good. Hmm. Well, I wonder which country has the best French fries. Like street food. I don't know. That's the thing. If you... If, last question for you, I guess. If you were to travel abroad, how would you eat? Would you try their local cuisine? I would... It was a very good question, actually. So if I would travel, after I travel, I would, well, when I'm at a specific place, I would do, try to find, have organic ingredients or high quality food, maybe farm to table restaurants, farm to table. <clears throat> That's how I would do it. Good and good, if not, good approach. I would go to like the local Whole Foods or find a high quality store and pick up a whole bunch of high quality snacks and meals that I can just eat. And go. That's a good approach. Because even though I'm traveling, I still want to be healthy, obviously. Of course. I still want to go to a gym maybe like twice that week. And because you prioritize your health, and that's really good. Exactly. And that's why we made this episode. So. All right. That's dope. Um, Mark's really set on the flat earth. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's a theory. If you were never taught that the Earth was a globe, you would think it was flat. The easiest way to prove that the Earth is flat. That's true, but why flat, not a square? Regardless of if it's like a square or not, it's the concept of it being flat. Not, the, not a what shape it is. Flat. Yeah. That's it. You're not looking at it from, oh, what's the outer layer that... What is it? A like a dome? Like a dome? You think it's a dome? Possible? Possibility? It says it in the Bible, and that we live in a firmament, a dome. It's possible. So it's flat, <clears> and we're <throat> in a dome, like the uh, the movie. Yeah, it's very yeah. possible. True. Hot avocados. I just bought Whole Foods bread, baked in store, and had a bioengineered. Shock me be yeah, just because something is from Whole Foods, that's why you have to read ingredients. It's very important. Just yeah. I'd say ninety five percent of the stuff at Trader and Whole Foods is trash. Maybe not ninety five percent, like Whole Foods, it might be like seventy percent. They have some better stuff. You just have to really research. Covered in the sky ice. But yeah. Alright, this has been very informative. Yeah. Um if you have any suggestions on what we should talk about feel free to comment and uh we'll see you guys next week thank you so much we all appreciate right. all of you peace guys go on